Dear ladies and gentlemen, our planet Earth is home to people and billions of other species. It is marvelous and beautiful, but might be dangerous to the living creatures it is covered with. Having our own disputes and conflicts between nations, countries, and coalitions, people forget that the emergencies might suddenly occur anywhere, and having even the strongest army in the world won't help at the situation to prevent from victims. Russian Federation has a broad experience in emergencies prevention and response. Our country not only protects its own citizens, but also helps its partners globally. Rosaborn Expert, part of Rostec State Corporation, is the only Russian state intermediary responsible for export import of the entire spectrum of military and dual-purpose end products, technologies, and services. And this video is about the means, systems, and solutions for emergency monitoring and management. Russia is a country with eight biomes. It is washed with 14 seas with three oceans, has several climate and time zones, deserts, forests, glaciers, mountains, forests, steppes, swamps, volcanoes, and many other natural zones where the emergencies might occur with or without people. But apart from the problems that have natural origin, there are hundreds of man-made disasters which happen every day. Unfortunately, it is not always possible to prevent an emergency from happening. In this case, we need reliable and efficient tools for each particular situation. According to global researchers, there are around 346.6 million people globally who are in need due to the humanitarian disaster. Earthquakes, open fires, landslides, epidemic, storms, traffic accidents, and many other reasons lead to human deaths and ecological catastrophes. Russian manufacturers came up with a wide range of tools to solve those problems on a local or national level. On behalf of firefighting, Rossiborn Expert is ready to supply different types of vehicles such as wheeled firefighting tank trucks and trailers of light, medium, and heavy classes. Today, a fire truck is a high-tech hub that has everything necessary not only for fighting fires, but also natural and man-made disasters. Every day, firefighters are faced with new unpredictable situations, and the main task for the manufacturers of specialized vehicles is to provide rescuers with state-of-the-art capable and reliable equipment. Russian-made fire trucks are developed according to both native and foreign requirements of fire departments, covering its particular task with maximum efficiency, proving its reliability on practice. These are fire tanks from 1 to 15 cubic meters, fire pumping stations, post pumping stations, fast response vehicles, emergency rescue vehicles, foam and firefight combined vehicles, airport combined firefighting vehicles, as well as firefighting tankers for high-rise fire. The trucks have increased cross-country ability, fire-resistant frame, and convenient cabins for the crew. Each vehicle has an adaptive configuration enabling to deliver all possible firefighting and rescue equipment. Russian firefighting vehicles have saved thousands of people and prevented billions of dollars in financial losses. Apart from the trucks, Russian Ministry of Emergency Management also uses aircraft for firefighting and evacuation of injured citizens. Those are K-33 multipurpose helicopters, for example. It is a universal aerial platform, making it possible to install various firefighting and special equipment on it, providing an effective performance of tasks for firefighting. The maximum effect of the helicopter is reached while making fire barrier lines in case of a forest fire, as well when performing of operation for fire suppression on upper stories and roofs of high buildings, oil tankers and tanks, fuel, chemical and oil refining industry enterprises. The helicopter can be equipped with various firefighting systems such as Bambi bucket harness system, simplex built-in system or water cannon. Another example is Russian well-known Mi-17 multipurpose helicopter. Being provided with special equipment in firefighting modification, 
it is intended for fighting fire using water in remote areas or terrain hard to reach for other means, residential areas as well as for delivery of firefighting equipment and fire crews of up to 20 people. Firefighting is not the only role for the helicopters. Apart from that, they are used as an evacuation unit in hard to reach areas during any type of emergency. Russia has plenty of areas that are heavily passed with usual transport. Moreover, the emergencies may generate such conditions. For this reason, there is a several manufacturer that came up with the vehicles that may succeed in those operations for evacuation of the refugees or for the transportation of first aid products. One of the examples is DT-10 Vitis. It is a tooling track off-road vehicle with a load carrying capacity of 10 tons designed for transportation in adverse climatic conditions on low load bearing capacity soil. For example, marsh, snow virgin soil, cross country, rough wooded country. At an environment temperature of minus 50 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. This vehicle can pass a distance of up to 500 kilometers on one refill. Apart from respiratory protective equipment, hydraulic emergency survival kits, rescue systems for firefighters and other tools, Russian manufacturers also create self-rescuers, which will highly increase the chances of survival. Those are Granat-1, Granat-2M and SPI-20M, for example. They are used for evacuation from buildings and structures in the event of a fire or other emergency of natural or man-made nature, including terrorist attacks, associated with the release of toxic combustion products and other hazardous chemical and aerosols into the surrounding atmosphere. Man-made or natural disaster often lead to the emergence of refugees. Temporary shelters are an important issue during the emergencies, that's why Russian manufacturers pay their attention to the development of life support modules as well. Rosabron Expert is ready to deliver a wide range of life support modules of various purposes, such as modular mobile hospitals, which may consist of surgery block, anesthesiology department, laboratory and diagnostics department, clinical and diagnostics laboratory, X-ray diagnostics room, and many other modules. Being united together, those will generate a full-scale hospital. Mobile control facilities, such as mobile command vehicles and units, mobile logistics and technical support facilities, such as catering, amenity, power supply, and other special purpose equipment. And the last but not the least, mobile maintenance facilities for repair and evacuation. Russian-made modular life support systems allow the customer to construct his own modification for a particular task. At the same time, an existing configuration may be scaled into an actual temporary city for refugees. Modern equipment is able to eliminate the consequences of floods, fire, earthquakes, storms and any other emergency, but there would have been less losses if countries would have efficient emergency monitoring systems. Russian manufacturers, together with the Ministry of Emergency Management, came up with a complicated organizational and software hardware complex that helps to take managerial decisions to prevent and eliminate crisis and emergency situations, monitoring of controlled objects and environment factors simulating the events and forecasting the development of situations. Those situation centers are located in several regions within the country and assist in monitoring of the operational situations in the regional and to minimize the time between the start of emergency situation and its elimination. One of the examples is the 112 system, which is actively implemented in Russia and has highly increased the efficiency of emergency prevention and suppression. Its main tasks are ensuring the functioning of the system for calling emergency services using a single number 112, ensuring timely notification of the population, including emergency notifications of the population about dangers arising during military conflicts or as a result of 
these conflicts, as well as in emergency situations, ensuring the reception of signals about the occurrence of a fire from the fire alarms of objects located on the territory of the city and the transmission of such signals to fire departments. In order to decrease the losses during the arrival time of the specialists, Russian manufacturers have developed and introduced into operation robotic firefighting systems. Each robotic system is equipped with an automatic aiming system based on the thermal and digital cameras. The remote control of robotic systems is being installed in separate space and enabled to manage the whole system. The control unit consists of graphical image of the object scheme, full functionality of control system, self-diagnostics, logging and achievement of the event and video service. Russian situational centers, together with automated complexes of monitoring, warning and fighting with emergencies, ensure a 25 reduction of response time, a 20% reduction of expenses on dispatching services, the preservation of previously made investments by integrating existing security systems into common environment, reduction of the number of personnel when increasing efficiency in three to four times. These benefits cover a wide range of strategic tasks such as automatic management of workflow parameters at especially important, potentially hazardous and high-risk sites, identifying giving alarm and registering emergency at situation sites, remote control of manufacturing equipment, registration and automatic achieve to database of controlled parameters, events and operator actions monitoring of resources located to organize reaction in case of emergency situations. Dear ladies and gentlemen, emergencies may happen anywhere. It's always better to be prepared for them with modern equipment, efficient warning systems and professionals who know how to implement it. Rossaburn Expert is ready to supply its customers with modern means, systems and solutions for emergency, monitoring and management.